I am Soul. Yo, it's your boy, Soul Man. Check me out. Oh out. my God. <laughs> nah, just playing. I look, both genders, male and female. The day, or days, or the time, at least for the most part. In layman's terms, I'm gonna this short, I got some apple right here, I'm finna smack. Oh my God. Hmm, <laughs> here we go. Mm -hmm. Do it too. Shout out to my dad. Those of us who, who got some age on us and we know better. When you grow up and you know better, you gotta do better. So, in this, on this topic, it ain't gonna be that easy for most. Ain't no more choosing just with the eyes, bro. Or even with the mannerisms of a person when it comes to you choosing your mate. Let me tell you something. Every couple has spoken publicly about the ups and downs of their relationship, right? It has always been a lot of negatives in between. They got tired of each other, every, every fucking last one of them. I never heard one who didn't say these kind of things, such as, like, it was times, it was over with. I even left him, he left him, she left, started another family, ended up coming back. So, I said that to say this. Have you ever seen two people People have been together forever and they so much intertwined with each other that they start to look alike. I believe at this point, I believe wholeheartedly, unless you just got that gift of discernment from God himself, all knowing knowledge and wisdom and insight. We can't choose from here. We can't do that, bro. Ain't wanna know why? Cause that's what everybody do. Hey, look, it's true because if damn near more divorces happening than damn marriages. Like the marriage been over. Cause the marriage ain't ain't the ceremony. That ain't about shit. That passes away with the earth, with time. The marriage is the relationship, is the day-to-day -day choosing to still be bonded to your person. You get married every day. If you married in heart, Adam and Eve didn't get married through a court, but the Bible say that God made her, brought her to the man. And he named her Eve, and then he knew his wife. What the word knew in Hebrew uh, means, in this context, that he knew his wife. He consummated uh, the marriage through a sexual experience. And that's the marriage initiation. But the marriage itself is the balance of y'all energies. It being blessed to whether the riffraff of of balancing yourselves out, you know, with each other. You know, so with respect and love and, and compromising and taking losses, helping, giving, taking. This is the thing, man. And we have somebody in our life, in our lives, in a love relationship, whatever. And you allow yourself to get tired of the person because there's parts of you that is still attracted outwardly to other. And you will let that determine your inner private life with this person that can only really be shared with one or a few of you and believe me whatever it's still a, a private bond you know what makes it so worthy and so special everybody don't know your business that's what makes a thing rare and private only way that you can know somebody solid with you or not or loyal to you or not because your well-being is no matter what y'all go through or do to each other pull each other hair out got them do all kind of shit you know what I mean? Tear each other down sometime when you're going through life. Yeah, it happens. But you don't let nobody else on the outside come in and do that shit. And y'all private bond and marriage or whatever. That's the difference. So you can't be choosing with these. Everybody has a preference. However, when you grow up and you know better, you do better. And when you grow up, all growing up is, is humbling yourself to know and to accept what is the best possible thing or way for you, things we complicate are, are really simple. Conquering your nature, that's hard on both ends. I thank God that he allowed me to be able to do it. Uh, with me, I bet y'all ain't on a secret about me. How I'm built, I can connect with damn near any woman. As long as I'm at least 20% attracted to her physically, because I know how to humble myself and see the differences in a person and instead of judge them or be like, I don't like that. Training myself to already be like that. Allowing myself to 
agree with the thoughts that I have concerning this female. I'm making a decision. I learn how to see differences. I can't really explain it, as I know it's a gift from God, by way of wisdom. Thank God for it. Something happens. As long as I remain open, as long as I remain fair, as long as I don't prejudge this person as not my own, I don't, I don't like, eh. my little pet peeves, like, you know, the person who I may want or be more attracted to won't see me like that. I know how to let somebody be themselves. As long as they give me what I need, which is respect, and they see me, how I show them I, I want to be seen and interacted with, because you teach people how to interact with you and treat you, what you can do, what you can't do with them, how far they can go, especially from a man to a woman, because a woman, a typical woman just feels it's her place to test her man, like she's greater. I've never seen the weaker vessel of a thing test the stronger. I thought the teacher or the master tests the student and therefore approves it or disapproves it to go to the next level. How in the hell the weaker vessel gonna test the goddamn stronger vessel? That's a whole other video and I'm gonna make sure I do it. I got something to say about that. But if you still believe in love and you want love relationship, man, it's just in us to desire. Just chill out with one person, if possible. Man, and you're gonna have to get over your eyes. You're gonna have to grow up and see what's more important and train yourself and make yourself want what's more important than what you feel like you want now that's not important and you know it i'll keep on taking the risk you know what i'm saying bumping into the next devil or your next ex who who might have left you with a hex and so perplexed but oversexed but under blessed and stuck in the muck and mire crying not me all right y'all i love y'all Bye.